right now in this moment, I choose to open up and speak from my heart because I have a message on my heart and I know that everyone that's meant to hear this message is going to come across this video. It's going to happen. I don't care if this video gets one or two views. If you're here, it's because you need to hear this. I want you to know, God wants you to know that you won. You won. You chose yourself. You won. I don't care if this person cheated on you, manipulated you, gaslit you, if they went back to their ex. I don't care if they went back to the person that they told you not to worry about. I don't care if this, this person that you were with, that you finally left alone, went back and started carrying on with their lives as if nothing happened. And I know it hurts. I know it hurt you. I know it hurt your feelings. And that's okay. That's okay that your feelings got hurt. But I want you to also know that I'm proud of you for even allowing yourself to feel your emotions. Do you know how many people run away from their fucking emotions? I used to be one of those people. I ran away from my emotions and I never allowed myself to feel my emotions. And I just started learning how to open up my heart and how to feel my emotions. And let me tell you something. As someone, okay, because I'm a Virgo sun, a Gemini moon and a Capricorn rising. Okay, so if you know anything about astrology, I am not really the biggest fan of feeling emotions. I like to think through my emotions. I like to intellectualize my emotions and make logical sense of how I'm feeling. But I stopped. I stopped doing that because what I realized is by me trying to constantly intellectualize my emotions and always identify my emotions and always think, 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 instead of allowing myself to feel and be in my heart, I was running away from the pain that I needed to heal. So what I did is in order to finally learn how to properly heal after a heartbreak, after a toxic relationship, after feeling gaslit, manipulated, lied to, taken advantage of, I just allowed myself to feel those things. And it's okay for you to feel hurt if you're if you're feeling hurt about that situation cuz I'm here with you with you and you're not alone and you're going to be okay and even if it feels a little hard right now you're going to make it through this you're going to make it through this and I know that the people that need to hear this message are going to sit through this message because this message I almost didn't press record I was going to keep this all to myself and just journal it I felt called to really just speak, like use my voice, use my platform, share this message, and the people that are meant to hear it will find it and will listen to it. But I want you to know that I'm so fucking proud of you. You have came such a long way. And out of everything that happened, all of the hurt that that you felt, I want you to know that there is a special lesson about you that lied in that other person. So for a second, what I had to do in order to really help myself move on from the situation and heal from the situation properly and to let go is I stopped focusing on the person that hurt me and instead I started to taking a a little inventory on myself and I started to look at myself what was this person reflecting back to me what did I truly need to see about myself why did God bring this person back into my life and why did I allow this person to be in my life for the period of time that they were in my life and that's when I realized I had a lack of self-discipline and self-respect and you see i'm not like one of those those content creators that only show you the highlights i'm going to show you and i'm going to speak about the highs and the lows because that's what's authentic for me and i know that for me personally i realized that i learn a lot more from my low moments than my high moments and when I learn from my low moments when I master those lessons and I and I understand those lessons 
my high moments are the highest because I know how low I've been before. I know where I came from. And so those high moments, those times in my life where everything's going great and it's just flowing and it's amazing and it feels good and I'm surrounded by good people and I'm surrounded by love and I am filled with love and joy and peace within myself. I appreciate those high moments so much better because I I know what the low feels like and it's the same for you. And let me tell you something, these low moments are just moments. They are temporary and you also don't have to let life happen to you. Life isn't happening to you. It's happening for you. Even the low moments are blessings in disguise. If I would have never took that person back, I would have never learned this valuable lesson about self-love and self-discipline and self-respect. I needed that. I needed that heartbreak. You needed that heartbreak. We needed that heartbreak. And it's okay. It's literally okay. It's okay because you're going to be okay. And when you receive that healthy love that you deserve, that healthy love that you desire, that healthy love that you daydream about when you're bored at work or that you fantasize about before you drift off to sleep, I want you to know that's coming. That's coming. And that scum of a person that you were dealing with, you didn't lose out on anything. I want to let you know that you didn't lose out on anything because you're that amazing. And you deserve someone that is also that amazing. Someone that actually matches you and your amazingness and your uniqueness and your wisdom and your intelligence and your beauty and your light and your purpose. Someone that's aligned with you. You deserve that. And that person wasn't it. And that's okay. Because guess what? There's an abundance of of fucking people in this world. Do you know how many people is in this world? Billions. Okay? <laughs> and I'm going to continue to shed light on that. You didn't lose out on anything. And shit, maybe they didn't even lose out on anything either. Because if they were not for you, chances are maybe you weren't for them either. And that's okay. Don't allow your ego to hold you back from fully healing and from fully letting go because I used to be there and that's why I can now pass down this wisdom to you. My ego is what kept me holding on to something, to someone I should have been let go of. My ego being hurt and my ego being bruised is what kept me in that situation with that person because I knew that person wasn't for me. I was settling. And you were probably settling as well if you're here listening to this. You deserve so much better. And that better is on the way because you're worthy of it. You're deserving of it. You've came too far to allow yourself to regress in any way, shape, or form. You deserve more. You always did. You just didn't realize it. And that's why I'm telling you it now. We deserve better, okay? If you're listening to this message and it helped you in any way, shape, or form, I need you to share this message with the three people closest to you because they probably need to hear it too. And I know how it feels to feel alone and to feel misunderstood or to feel dumb after situations like this, especially when it comes to the dusty exes okay (laughs) so i want to let you know i'm here for you you are a part of the soul tribe you have a family here you got love here for you okay you are loved you are important you are worthy of success abundance love joy and peace and success and wealth and you are worthy of healthy love healthy genuine deep soul warming love that lights your soul up in the best way possible you deserve that okay if you haven't already i want to help you boost up your self-confidence and your self-love with daily affirmations i have been using daily affirmations every single morning before i even get up out of the bed and it has been transforming the way that i've seen myself and honestly my affirmations have been 
transforming my subconscious mind and honestly strengthening my self-love. And I feel like that is what helps me finally build up the courage to choose myself, regardless of how that other person may have felt. So I'm going to link that video down below. I'm also going to put it on the screen. Feel free to add it to a special playlist. I have a playlist on my YouTube channel called my manifestations, morning manifestations. It's private, but you can make a playlist for yourself. Listen to it at least twice a day, okay? Once in the morning, as soon as you wake up, once at nighttime, 20 minutes before you go to sleep. And if you can, on certain days, because life does get a little hectic sometimes, listen to it in the afternoon and watch how it transforms your mind, okay? And your life and your appearance. It's you got to be consistent, but I'm sending so much love. Okay, it's Tali Tali Anika with the Tali Talks, the podcast, and I will be back with another video very soon.